Okay, welcome back to the Dublin Academy Online. Now, remember that my Gmail address is uh, Dublin Academy. At gmail.com. Okay, and also on Facebook, YouTube, which you obviously got me on YouTube. But uh, maybe you should look now and see if I have uh, Dublin Academy online.com. Maybe by now I will have produced a website. Okay, so Michael Dalton again, and uh, Leaving Cert, Ordinary Level Maths, Series 7, and we're on Episode 7, and it's the line. Now, I just want to uh, show you a few things here, and uh, maybe you could kind of think about these things, okay? So I'm looking at L here, right? And um, uh, I, I've noticed uh, I can change the format, okay? So L is, a, is, is, is in this form, okay? So if I wanted to look at L and I wanted to say find the slope of L, well I know that it's the difference between y minus c, which is 0c to there, okay, uh, all over x. In other words, it's the y's over the x. Now, this might mean something to you or it mightn't mean anything. That's minus c. Uh, but it's the manipulating of the formula, which you can see in series uh, 1, actually again, manipulating the formula. You can see if you multiply across mx and if you get y on its own, you prove then that m is the slope. Okay, you can see from here and you, the logic will approach, will, you will be able to see. Okay. Now remember that the y coefficient must also always equal to 1. There, must be equal to 1. For example, this 2x plus y, if I wanted to find the, to find the solution to that equation, uh, to find, um, the, I want to find the slope of m of l, okay? So, as I did before, I, put every, I manipulate the formula. Minus 2x plus 4. I can't have a 2 on that y. y is equal to minus 2x all over 2 plus 4 all over 2. Alright? So the slope of this line is minus 1 times x plus 2. Right, so the slope is minus. Okay, so this is the L here, and, and you see I've, I've kind of, I'm going to get to this now anyway. But you see that the slope is a negative, right? That means it's going down, all right? Uh, it cuts the y-axis at 2, y is equal to 2, okay? So there are the things you can do with this uh, once you're given the equation. So in this example, you're given the equations and you have to find stuff out. Now, if I wanted to find out where that line, so there's, say for example, that's the line L here, right? It actually is, right? So it's in space here somewhere, okay? Now it just so happens that it's between two nice digits, okay? And I've made it so. But they can be anywhere, you know what I'm saying? But at one stage along its life it's going to cut the y-axis. And at another stage it's going to cut the x-axis. So in this case that means that when it cuts the y-axis, what's equal to zero? When it cuts the y-axis, x is equal to zero. Right? So we've got 2 times 0 plus 2y is equal to 4. y is equal to 2. So your first set of points is 0, 2. 0 for the x. So that's the point 2, 0, 2. Okay? And consequently you can find the corresponding x-axis enter. Well, we can see from up here when we manipulated before we found that it was equal to 2, I think. Oh, it is actually. So anyway, so y is equal to 0. So 2 times x plus 2 times 0 is equal to 4. I brought the minus 4 over. You see I'm just substituting back into this equation, always back into this equation. Okay? And I'm finding that x is equal to 2. Right? 2x is equal to 4, x is equal to 2. And there's my point here. So now I can draw the line. I can say, well, that point line goes beyond those two points as well. Okay? And uh, so you know now how to find the points of intersection of a line. Because you will be asked in further stages to move that line, okay? Not knowing these, just given that equation and you're told a translation of such, okay? Follow this translation. Well, you have to get the, the points where it cuts the x and y axis and then move them accordingly, okay? So you have to find points using this way. So that's your x and y axis. I'm just having a quick look here, see if there's anything else to be talked about. 
So I've shown you the slope now. Now, okay, now verify. Verify a point on the line. In other words, is it, does it have roots? Verify roots, solutions. And this is the same as using is2 on, on L, for example. So we'll just, we'll just, we'll do out the form again, 2y uh, minus 4 equals 0. Well, we know that 2, these points are on it because we've proved it. But well, we put 0 in for uh, x and 2 in for y, and we can see that uh, they are the solutions of it. 2 times 0 plus 2 times 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. 4 minus, the cancels, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Yes, it is on the line. Now, and you can test other points. So let's just check out this point, 4 minus 2. This is the x and this is the y. So you slot them in, 2 times 4 uh, plus 2 times minus 2, minus 4 equals to 0, 2 fours are 8. Minus by plus, a plus by a minus is a minus, and that adds to give you zero. So that point is on that line. L, okay? Right, so you can, these are solutions to this point. So that is a solution. So remember that, so you can put that out here for, uh, if you astute enough, you put out your points and you, you label them and say, okay, that's on L. L equals that, okay? Four minus two. It says another point is 2, 2. Right, put in 2, 2. 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2 minus 4. Is it equal to 0? 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 minus 4 is not equal to 0. Therefore, it's not on the line. Not on L. Specifically L. Okay, here's L. We've been using L all the way along. Okay. Now, so that seems to be everything, you know. Uh, so, I have now, you can now plot, you can now, number one, you can plot a line, you can, you can find the slope, given the equation, so given its equation of a line, you can find number one, you can find its slope, m, and number two, you can find where it cuts the x and y axis or axi whichever it is I haven't found it out anyway so so you now know that you can find these things out of out, out with them okay and the y intercept is the same as when x is equal to zero that's where that comes in okay All right so you're just doing two things at the same time so if you put the solution in like we did with L the last time we found out that C we could find C the y intercept which was two for y Okay, and it worked out when we put in x is equal to 0, it turned out that it, y was equal to 2. Okay, now I hope you get this whole idea of what's happening here with slopes and uh, um, interpreting uh, equations and trying to find as much as you can out, out about them. Now, right, we have uh, questions here. Write down the slopes of each of the following. Manipulate the formula into the into this uh, y is equal to mx plus c. Remembering can't have any coefficients, only one. For example, here there's only one. We have to get rid of the trees and five here. Okay, now arrange them differently, equal to eight. So now you're you're being thrown figures left and right. So you have to you know get your head straight on what's uh, what's what. Okay. Is two five on the line there? Slot them in and check it out. Is it equal to zero? Yes or no? Find the value of k when 2x plus ky minus 8 is equal to zero. Contains the point 4, 1. Okay, put 4, 1 in for x and y, and then you should be able to find out what k is equal to. L is the line x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to zero. Find the equation of the line that's parallel to L at the point 2, 4. So now you know that the parallel and parallel lines have equal slopes. M of L is going to equal the M of K, whichever this line would be, we we'll call it K. So then you have a set of points, so you can put them into the formula. Y minus Y1 is equal to X times X minus X1. Find the equation of the line through the origin. Zero, zero is the origin. And perpendicular, and this is a new sign for perpendicular, to L. And L is X up here referring to L up here. Okay, so perpendicular, in other words that their slopes when multiplied by each other should give you minus one if they're perpendicular. 
So you just put in x and you put in the slope. You, you put in for k, you don't know, and you put in the slope for for the l, and then you can multiply. Say l is um, l is uh, is um, um, a quarter actually. Okay, is equal to minus one. Yeah, quarter. Okay, and it's it's minus a one. Minus four. Okay, so you won't, you will see that x is equal to minus four. I'm not going to do this out for you, but anyway, that's the solution to that one. Okay, sorry, Duff. So find the equation line through the origin. The origin is set at point zero zero. Okay, remember that. It's it's where x and y meet. Very good. Okay, now that's very good. Now I hope you do those questions. Do them. These are very good. These questions here get the head thinking. Thank you. Bye.